Good afternoon guys, how's everyone doing today? Today I am making vegan parlings. And these are the ingredients I'll be using. This right here is my almond milk, my earth balanced butter, vanilla extract, light brown sugar. This is my cup of almond milk. This right here is one cup of white sugar and one cup of brown sugar. And I'm using walnuts instead of pecan. And I'll be using my arrowroot. Guys, it's almost to that point. Just gotta, probably got one, two more minutes. And it should be ready for me to drop. This is one half cup of butter, one cup of brown sugar, one cup of white sugar, and two teaspoons of vanilla flavor. Two teaspoons of arrowroot and one eighth teaspoon of salt. And I use walnuts instead of pecan. These are my vegan parlay. Let's go in for a closer look. I'm going to stick my can in tomorrow there in there and see if it reached 235 yet. One half I'm going to drop as is. The other half I'm going to drop some coconut in. I like them like that also. Got my vegan parlays cooking. They almost ready to be dropped. This is one cup of brown sugar, one cup of white sugar, one half cup of vegan butter, two tablespoons of vanilla flavor, and two teaspoons of arrowroot. And I put just about a one eight teaspoon of salt in it. All right, guys, here we go. These are my vegan walnut Paulines. I have three different flavors here. These right here are coconut. These right here are regular. These on the end. I have seasoned with cayenne pepper and red pepper flakes. They're not hot, they just got a bite to them. And they are really good, guys. It's a taste out of this world. These are the Red pepper flakes and cayenne. These are the regular ones. And these are the coconut ones. They're really good too. Actually, all of them are. But I think the coconut 
and the cayenne pepper are my favorites. This right here is considered my guilty pleasure when it comes to sweetness. I'm not a big fan of sweets, but I really love this. Actually, everyone in my household does. It doesn't matter that they're big and they'll eat them up anyway. What you think, guys? I dropped them using my um, jar rings. I also dropped them for they could be rugged. I like that rugged look of them. Back up, you can see. Turn it over. That's my jar ring I dropped them in. Once they sit overnight, we're going to pop them out the next morning and stack them in my uh, bowl, sit it on the table. And this is how I store them. I got a glass bowl and I line it with wax paper. And I just put them in there. And the top is airtight. So it keeps them sealed. Let's go in for one last close look up. These are the coconut ones. the regular ones. These are red pepper plates and cayenne. Alright guys, y'all have a great rest of the week. Stay safe. I came back guys to add this little clip to the end so you guys could actually see them out of the little ring that I dropped them in. These are the rings that I'm using. These are my ball rings right here. Just drop them over in there. And once they sit overnight, there you go. That's the coconut one. right here are the cayenne and red pepper flakes and regular ones. They've already been eating them. They are really good guys. I just wanted to bring you back and let you get that final look at them outside of the ring. These are my vegan walnut parlings. This is how I'll be storing them in a glass bowl with wax paper and the, and the lid is airtight. So they'll stay fresh for weeks, but I'm pretty sure they won't last that long. But anywho, this is what I wanted to show you guys. All right, once again, guys, stay safe. Have a great rest of the week.